Hello guys, good evening. Can you listen to me? Good evening, yes, teacher. Hey, how's it going? Are you guys ready for today's session? Are you guys ready? Hello, hello. Can you guys listen to me? Hello, David. Hello, Luis. Ana Maria Hueso. Nice to see you guys. I really hope you enjoyed today, your day. It's Tuesday, okay? And this is session number two, okay? So how do you feel? Emerson, how are you doing? Hi, mister. How's it going, Emerson? Good? Yes, um, I'm good, yes. Great, I can see. Jacqueline, how are you doing, Jacqueline? I'm fine. Good, I can see that you are fine. Brian, how are you doing, Brian? I am good. Nice to hear that. Tell me, how are you doing? Tell me. Fine, teacher. Good, good to hear that, okay. I see Anna is here, Ruth, and then Susana, Judy, Giselle, Nelly, Noemi, Diana is connecting, Gilbert is here, Albert Einstein, I'm sorry, Albert Franklin. Yes, I thought, oh, wow, we have Albert Einstein here, so I was, well, I was so lucky, I said. All right, let's see, Carla is there. Jancy, well, guys, thank you for connecting. Welcome, welcome, Gustavo. We are gonna start with our session number. This is session number two. Before I start, I would like to know if you remember about yesterday's class. What did we study yesterday? Who wants to help me? Because I don't remember anything from yesterday, but I know you remember. So what do you remember from yesterday? What did we do yesterday? Yesterday, uh, we were studying about the uh, tell me about yourself, the bubbles, and the prepositions. And I remember that. Nice, nice, nice to hear that. I really appreciate that. Okay, what else do you want to add? Let's see who else wants to help me. Who had the chance to watch the videos on the platform? I know David has a question. We're going to go over that in a minute. Who practiced? who has solved the exercises on the platform, who was able to finish them. Are you okay? Do you have questions? I know some of you have questions. There are two of you who contacted me. We're gonna go over that in a minute. Mm -hmm. Did you watch the videos? Have you completed the exercises? Yes. Diana says yes. Yes, you did. Great to hear that. Yesterday, we started talking about uh, very basic questions, right? And today, we're going to just go over some things we left pending yesterday so we can get started. So let's see. I know you already know how to use possessive adjectives, right? Yesterday, you demonstrated uh, this to me. My, your, his, her, it's, our, and their. I need one volunteer to read uh, the statement with B, this first column, only reading. I want to hear your pronunciation. Who wants to read? Let's see, 23 students connected. Oh, that's really cool. Ruth, go ahead, please. Only reading. Thank you. I'm from Mexico. You're from Brazil. He's from Japan, she's a new club member. It's an exciting city. We're in the same class. They're my classmates. Good, thank you so much, Ruth. They're my classmate, thank you. This is club, oh, club, club member. Okay, thank you so much. What do we need to focus on here? the contraction of verb V, I'm, you're, his, she's, it's, we're, and there. Basically, this is the focus. I know based on what I have observed, this is a very simple topic for you. Does anybody have questions about how to make contractions with V? Yes, teacher. 
or are we okay with this? Are we okay? Fine. So we, we can move yeah, on. Okay. Everything okay? So far, so good. Do you know what so far, so good means? Yes, so far, so good. Do you know what that is? So far, so good? Well, in case you didn't know, I'm gonna write it down. So, so far, so good. So far, so good means todo bien al momento. So far, so good. Okay, so let's move on. I want to focus on the next topic. And let's see, give me just a second. We have, this one is already done, right? And uh, today's topic is question with B. Without me, you know, without me, telling you any question with B. Can you please tell me one question using B? Okay, what question can you ask me? With WH, now, what are, what are the WH words you know? What are the WH? Where? Where? How? How? Good. What else? What? When? What? When? Exactly. What mm -hmm. else? Uh huh. Okay. When? When? Mm -hmm. Now, can you ask me one question with this? Where are you from? I wish I could say I'm from <laughs> from El Salvador. <laughs> what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, one thing. If you wanna say de donde eres, but you wanna be specific to uh, any place, you can say where are you from originally. In that case, I have to say, I am from, in my case, I am from Sonsonate originally. So I can say that. What are you from originally, Jacqueline? I am from originally San Salvador. Okay, I am from San Salvador originally. We live originally by the end. Good. So we can say that to be a little bit more specific, okay? But in case you say, where are you from? It's, it refers to the country most of the time, all right? Other questions, please, with, with a WH word. Go on, guys. What are you doing right now? Oh, I am teaching. I am teaching English. Good. What else? Ask me more questions. More questions with with uh, WH word. What comes to your when mind? Is your birthday. My birthday is on October twelfth. I'm turning eighteen this coming year. I wish. Okay. So, what other questions do you guys have? Questions? Yes, Carla. Uh, what is your favorite song? That's a good one. I love, I don't want to miss a thing. I love that okay. one. Mm -hmm. Teacher, hey. what is your full name? My full name is Jesus Armando Argueta Ramos. Okay, okay. other questions with, with the WH word? Franklin? Um. What is your favorite hobby? That's a good one. Favorite hobby? Going out <laughs> with friends, you know, maybe. <laughs> okay, good. I can see some of you are, um, let's say for some of you, it's easy to ask questions with WH word. Now, what does or uh, what does a question with B have like um, that we have to always consider and this is that we have to be uh, very specific we have to provide details whenever you ask any question with wh word you have to provide details okay it's not a open it's not a closed question it's not yes no question it's an open question well you have to provide details okay so if i ask uh, let's see gustavo gustavo where do you live so Gustavo is gonna say, I live in blah, blah, blah. So basically when you use WH word, you want to provide details, right? Where are you, uh, what, where are you studying? You want to provide details, right? So basically WH word guys are looking or is looking for details in a question. It's not yes, no question, that's one thing. So let's move on. Let's, look, let's take a look at this uh, one we have here in the conversation. How is it going? You can see here, conversation, how is it going? 
this is another way to say, how are you, right? So how's it going? How is it going? And then this is very common to hear it. You, most of the people I, um, I interact with, they don't say, how are you? Because this is very common. So people might say, how's it going? How's it going? How's it going? And you answer it, it's everything okay or everything good. So everything, you know, all right. So how's it going? How's it going is like a tal, right? How's it going? All right, so let's move on now. Let's see that the class or the session objective. I need one volunteer. Carla, please read the objective. It's only one. By the end, your mic, Carla. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. By the end of this lesson, the participant will be able to ask the answer question with using with we are questions words what i what who where when and who okay so this is what you were already saying right i know this topic for most of you is going to be easy so what where who when and how how it is considered a wh word maybe not a specific wh word but it's a question word because it doesn't have wh right as the other ones in the order. So let's see, uh, let's start with the first uh, practice. We have one, two, three, four, five, uh, and six, you know, um, question here. I'm gonna have you practice in groups, maybe in pairs. So we have the number one, let's see, uh, easy one. Jacqueline, ask number one. He doesn't have a what's, number. What's your name? Thank you. David, next one, please. David? Where's your friend? Good. Olivia, next one. Olivia, your mic. Excuse me. Who's Sonki? Thank you. Next one, Belki. Next one. Like. Okay, uh, next one, Jancy. Where are you and Luisa from? Thank you, and Gloria Lopez, the last one. Gloria? Or maybe Hector Granados, can you help us? The last one. How are Salvador? Can you help us? Salvador Rivera, can you read the last question? Hmm, okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, Kimberly? How, uh, how are your classes? How are your classes? Good, thank you so much. Guys, uh, listen, I'm going to uh, let you practice, but I also want you to create more questions with WH Word. So I'm going to assign you with one or maybe with two more classmates, ask the questions and respond. Once you finish, try to create at least one question with what, one with where, one with who, one with um, why, which is not here, and one with how. When you finish, I'm, I'm gonna request you to come back to the main session, okay? So I'm going to give you uh, maybe five minutes the most. First, practice this, these uh, questions. Second, create your own ones and try to practice it. Only questions, no conversation, okay? Because of time. So here we go. Please try to practice as much as possible. Take advantage of the time. Try to get to know your classmates a little bit as well. And then we're going to share, uh, you know, with the entire class. Here we go. I don't know if you have questions. Questions before I send you to the rooms? No questions? Okay, here we go.
Hello. Judith, can you listen to me? I can see you are connected twice. No. Hello, Judith. Can you listen to me? Okay, let's see. I really hope you took advantage of the time. I really hope you practice. I really hope those five minutes you were given, you practiced you know, as much as possible. Everybody's coming back. Great. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Thank you so much for practicing. I know you were practicing a lot. And then that's really good. Did you practice? Yes. Did you create your own examples? Yes, some on examples. Great, Salvador. I'm glad to hear that. So let's do something. I want to uh, hear your questions and your answers, OK? Maybe you can start participating in groups. Group, I don't know, you tell me and then say, these are the questions we created and these are the answers given. So who wants to volunteer? Thank you, Carla, go ahead. Your mic, Carla. Where is the place do you want to work? Nice, and what's the answer? I answer the question. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, you can do it. Okay. Maybe. I would like. I want to work is maybe in a call center because I think it's a great opportunity and I can get a good salary. You know, and I think I would like to work in teleperformance. Maybe if I had the opportunity, I would like to work. And this. Uh, excuse me. I don't um, recommend uh, teleperformance. <laughs> <It's> very stressful. <laughs> Why? I wanna, I wanna, I wanna share an experience. Stressful. So I recommend to work. Um, oh, maybe in the in the in whatever call center. If I had opportunity, I would like to work. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank you. I worked nine years in teleperformance. <laughs> really? I, yeah. 
I I was agent, chat agent, quality supervisor, and human resources and trainer there. And it depends, frankly, it depends. It depends on the account and the bosses you have. And I'm not talking badly about that because it was a place that gave me many opportunities. But then, yes, call centers are sometimes kind of stressing, but it depends on the account and it depends on you as well as a person. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, what, which what, which what, account? What, what, what can you say about FedEx? <laughs> I never worked for FedEx, but it's back to back. It's many. My brother, my younger brother works in FedEx and he is always, he's working from home and there are many codes always, here, but he's international, I think. So FedEx, I think, is the oldest account in teleperformance, but it's too much, let's say, too much information and, and also back-to-back, -back, many calls. And maybe that's a stressing. But then I worked for at and I worked for Cricket, I worked for, um, you know, hotels, and it's different. Maybe, maybe it's different. So Carla... If you see that as your objective, try it. And then okay. try <laughs> it, you. go for it. Um, okay. Working in call centers, guys, if you have that mission, maybe most of you don't, but then for those who have that mission, I would say it must be just a temporary job. Saving, investing, or maybe studying for anything at the university and then Boom, get the hell out of there. It's too much. I worked for that time and I'm like, I don't want to go back to that anymore. But then uh, you have to have at least, let's say, other options, right? other options. Franklin, did you work in FedEx or which account did you work? No, no. Um, um, estuve en práctica, pero era una cuenta de videojuegos. Mm -hmm. video game. I can see, I can see, okay. Right, call centers, well, guys, depends. But if we compare with what we have on the market available, sometimes call centers are the best choice due to money, money-wise. Okay, so let's go back to the class. Uh, do you guys have uh, any other example that you want to share? Thank you, Carla, for sharing your experience. Anybody else? Raise your hand, please. Okay. Anybody else? Don't be, don't be sad. Are you sleepy, guys? Yes? Tiring? Too many things to do at work? Please go ahead and share with me. With the class. Okay, let's do it. Okay. So you don't want to say anything? It's too easy? Is that the reason? Okay, I can see. Let, eh, me, let me listen to Gilbert. <laughs> Go ahead, Gilbert. Es que, es que siento que esas preguntas son como, como que no hay mucha variedad y lo que uno puede preguntar es como que muy recurrente. O sea, de ocurrirse una pregunta, se puede preguntar, por ejemplo, eh, what's your favorite food? Eh, what's your favorite color? How are you doing? How many people live with you? <laughs> Question people. like okay. question like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is correct. So yeah, uh, that's what I want to hear. Hey, let's move on. You know, there are many things that we need to go over, and let's focus on this conversation then. Okay, how is it going? Okay, I want to hear your pronunciation then. I need two volunteers to read this come this conversation. If it is easy, we move on, guys. But then I want to hear you speaking on this basic conversation. I got Jacqueline and uh, who else wants to read it? Me. All right. Thank you so much, then. Go. You start, Jacqueline. Hey, David. How it's going? Fine. Thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So are your class interested in this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Are you and Beth in the same class? 
No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure, let's go. Let's go and have some fun. Good, thank you so much. This word is interesting, interesting, interesting. And this is cafeteria. And then the rest went well. Thank you so much for that, guys. Appreciate it. Good pronunciation. I want to hear two more. Two more participants to share with me. Me, Same. teacher. Okay, thank you. We have one and then, oh, I have three people raising their hand. So, Jancy and Olivia. And I also have Ruth. I don't know. So, let's listen to Jancy and Olivia then. Jancy, you start, please. Okay. Hey, baby. How is it going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So, are you placemate interest interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I am really low chemistry. Chemistry? Are you embedded in the same class? No, we are not. My class in the morning. Her class in the afternoon. Listen. I am my way to the cafeteria. Now, are you free? Sure, let's go. Sure, let's go to the cafeteria to have something to eat. Okay, now uh, take a look at this one. I want to, uh, let me see. First, first thing, how, how, how's it going? How, there's an oot sound in between. How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? And then uh, when we talk about this pronunciation, guys, I know maybe for some of you it's not new, but then we have TH sound. TH sound is very important to pay attention to because we have two types of pronunciation when it comes to TH. We have the voiced and the unvoiced. This one we have here is the unvoiced. Thanks. How do you say, you don't say same, you don't say thing, you say thanks. Thanks. If you take a look at my mouth, I can show you the tip of my tongue because if I don't show you my, the tip of my tongue, then I, I might be mispronouncing it. So I wanna say thanks, thanks, thanks. Please pronounce that. For you, like maybe on your own, um, thanks, th thanks. And you don't say thank, you don't say thank, okay? It's not T, it's not Z, it's TH. The TH, guys, does not exist in Spanish. It's a sound that is exclusive or is, you know, English sounds. So TH, if you want to investigate this, this you want to go and, and study uh, the two type of sounds. And this is very important when talk about English. Thanks to sounds. We have voiced and unvoiced. Maybe you want to write it down in your notes. And then if you already know about this, fine. But if you don't know, maybe you want to investigate. How do I pronounce the H with the, with the vibration or and when? And why or when do I use the other type of TH? This one, thanks. Th thanks. Let's see, I think that will be it. Like I said, interesting, cafeteria, and sure. Even though it says sure, like sur, uh, this sound is sh sound, like sh, sure, sure, sure. Okay, so now this is what I have for you. I'm going to let you guys create one conversation because this is basic, maybe for some of you. Now go ahead and, and complete this conversation, use your information and add extra info. Like in this case, they are about to go to the cafeteria. So what can be a follow-up conversation that they can have there? Okay, maybe ordering food, maybe talking about whatever, you know, they are doing in, at the university or at school. So please try to create a follow up conversation based on this and use your information. Okay, so do you have questions about what you're going to be doing? I'm going to give you maybe five minutes. Any questions? And I'm going to this time choose the ones who are going to participate because maybe volunteering 
or maybe volunteering. Okay, so, teacher. Got it? Okay. I can participate. I, I can participate. Great. So this time I'm going to send you guys, create the conversation, use your information and add up um, extra info, like a follow-up conversation. When we come back, we're going to check the exercises they did that you asked for, okay, when we come back. So as of now, let me uh, create the groups. Maybe I'm going to use, uh, let's see, three participants the most. Let's see. Yeah, or maybe four sometimes. Here we go. Let's see. Okay. Here we go. If you are four, try to see how you can make everybody participate in the conversation. It's going to be more than one speaking at a time. Here we go. Let's see. todos van a ver. Ajá, por ejemplo, vaya, llego, ¿verdad? Y, bueno, digo ahí, hey guys, what are you doing? Y alguien contesta, ah, we're gonna watch a movie. Algo así. Sí. Solo que ahí, pues, no, no, o sea, cada uno tiene que, que contestar con algo, no sé. Exacto. English, come on, English, no Spanish, please. Come on, guys, come on, no, no Spanish, English, English, use English. Okay, I'm gonna give you more time, okay? Don't, don't listen. No, from Salvo. It's about it. This is very, very. Está, está lejos de aquí. Sería. This is very fun of here.
Um, what, yes. what, what are you doing this class? Oh. Okay, what are you doing in this class? Okay, ¿Qué haces en esta clase? Thank you. Thank you. Hola, hola. Hello. It was easy, yeah. Hola. Try. <laughs> Try to challenge yourself. If you say, no, this is very easy, try to add more information. So it's more challenging for you. If you say, no, teacher, this topic is a piece of cake, and then see how you can make it more difficult, okay? That will be the higher level. I'm gonna give you two more minutes, then I will call everybody back to the room, to the main session, okay? Okay, thank you so much. I really hope I didn't interrupt. I didn't cut your inspiration off. Guys, we are going to start sharing our conversation. I heard some of you uh, speaking the language, try saying it's easy, speaking Spanish, try not to speak Spanish, please, only English in the rooms, okay? Now, um, before we start sharing our conversation, because I want this time to share, like everybody to share, uh, maybe not everybody, but the majority. Before we do that, I want to know what questions do you have? I just know that David, mm, let's see, sent me a uh, a question about this one, right, David? And David was, uh, yeah. he said he was a little frustrated about this. Do you guys, or have you guys finished this exercise? This one? No. How have you completed? No, David hasn't completed it. Anybody who have finished it and got it correctly?
was let's analyze this i know this is like the uh, on knowledge checked uh, 1.12 this is a little bit ahead of um, where we are but then i want you to uh, take a look at this let's read the instructions david instructions says here let's see um okay we have franklin saying the answer answer the these questions about yourself it says uh, remember to give complete affirmative or negative answer so this is the key everyone and david remember to give either a complete affirmative or negative answer if you only say yes i am or no i am not you are not complying with what is being requested. That is why I want to take Franklin's answer. No, I'm not from the United States. You see, that can be one, yes. Because that will be one answer. You're, you're answering with a complete, um, let's say, uh, form. You're not only saying just no, you are giving me the complete answer. So David, can you try with Franklin's answer? Because that, that must work, that's the answer. You can also say, yes, I am from the United, United States. But then that can be one. Can you try it, David? Uh, ahorita, I try this now? Yeah, please no. try, try. I have try. problems? Mm -hmm. There's no, I am not. I'm from El Salvador, igual. Not, not not try no i'm not i'm not from the united states try that one the one they be okay. just typed because it's the wait united a <clears throat> wait a minute uh -huh. no i am not from No. It doesn't work? No. What does it say? Okay, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. I show you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, nope, I am not from the United States and it's red. Can you um can you do me a favor? Can you share your screen? Are you using your phone or can you share it? Because I can barely see it. I'm going to stop sharing and you do it. Can you do it for me? Can you share your screen? Is that possible? Si puedo compartir la pantalla. Uh -huh. Or not? Aquí donde dice compartir. Uh -huh. Yes. Pantalla. Compartir pantalla. Uh -huh. Make sure to use capital. Algunas veces es porque no tenemos letras mayúsculas o eh, algún puntito de más. That's why it doesn't work. But if you can share with me. Let's see. Franklin, did it work when you did that? When you answered that answer, did it work for you? No, teacher, no puedo. No sé cómo se no. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, you're doing Franklin is doing it. Look. No, I'm not from the United. Take a look at that one. Yeah, he's he's got it. Yes, look, uh, David. No, comma. I'm not from the United States. So that one, it's like there's a period. Hay un puntito. United States in capital letters. Las iniciales son capitals. United States capital letters. Así como está el Franklin, it's okay. Sí. Entonces, asegurémonos de poner capitals. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, frankly. Okay. Tratemos. Okay. De... Ajá. Thank you. Ingresemos, David. I'm going to wait for you. Ingresemos. Veamos esta vez. Usamos letras, letras mayúsculas, el puntito al final, and all that. Because sometimes it's frustrating. Because I, I know, I know, I have worked in platform, and when you don't, when the answer is not recognized, you get frustrated, and that's not good. So take some time. I'm going to wait for you, and then you tell us, please. Take some time. Um, yo creo que había alguien más que me escribió. Let me see. Don't remember. There were two por lo mismo in the same. Quiero ver. Let me see. Oh, I know. Yes, Ana you, Hueso. Um, yes, I, I can do it. You, you could do it, ya lo hizo? No. 
Uh, can you try lo que acabo de escribir, what Franklin just said? Porque las posibles respuestas, esas son. Podría ser que use también contraction, sea no, coma, I'm not from the United States. I'm not, so you can say that. Okay, now. Pero siempre me dio, siempre me dio error. Pero voy a revisar los espacios, creo que. Ajá, es, spaces, otra cosa, a veces el apostrophe. The apostrophe, asegúrense que sea, a veces la que aparece con un teclado, este, a veces aparece donde está el, el signo de pregunta para cerrar, ahí aparece a veces el apóstrofe correcta, no deben usar la otra, a veces ese es el detalle. Check. Tomen su tiempo ahorita unos dos, tres minutos, luego. That's important. ¿Alguien más? ¿Anybody else? ¿Gloria? ¿Miguel? Hey, I, I compare. Okay, yes, please. You want to share it? Can you see my, uh -huh. my desk? Uh -huh. Ajá. Yeah. Can you move it? Muevelo un poquito hacia, hacia el... Muevelo, muevelo, muevelo. El, tiene puntito al final. No. Póngale puntito. Vaya, póngale puntito a todos. Al final. Uno más. Dele, dele, submit. Vaya, entonces, cambiemos esa, esa, esa apóstrofe, pongámosle otra. La del, no, la que aparece con el question. Busquemos otra que no sea esa que aparece como. Es difícil find the apostrophe is next to zero. Next to zero, okay. Maybe. La cambiamos. Ah, oh, le voy a poner la, la forma completa. Ah, mejor, ¿verdad? Por la póster. Vaya, esa es una muy brillante idea lo que está haciendo ahorita, creo que es Miguel. Como la apóstrofe es la del problema, lo que él está haciendo es cambiarla. Mire, le puedo hacer, le puedo estar poniendo la forma completa y ahí va. Uh -huh. Y tenemos el punto que tiene ahí, ahí tiene un puntito después de snap. Muy bien, I like it. I like that idea. Alguien está reportando a problem. Oh. Vaya, problema de que le aparezca otro curso, me mandan ahí un comentario al WhatsApp y yo lo voy a reportar, ¿ok? Veo que hay un problema de, de asignación, Gloria. Me escribe al WhatsApp, please. <coughs> hmm. Ok, ya vieron cómo está solucionando el caso ahí. Me parece muy bien acertado. Sí, yo creo que, yo creo que todos tenemos ese mismo problema por el momento. Creo que de apostrophe, it might be the mistake, David. Cuando es así, porque a veces el teclado reconoce una apóstrofe de incorrect one, usen el full form que se lo va a reconocer. Lo... Ajá. Tratemos de usar full form, Clara, también. A ver si eso ayuda. Okay. Eso pues afectaría en el, score, en el puntaje global, así que es importante. Ajá. Eso lo quería preguntar. Uh -huh. Este, nosotros media vez no le demos next, aunque nos equivoquemos muchas veces, va a contar el puntaje o no? El, no, el, el puntaje final es el que reportan ustedes el, el último. cuando ya le damos next ajá, ajá yo, yo creo que incluso les deja retomar otra vez el, 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 el quiz así que tienen la oportunidad de volverlo a hacer Así que no hay, no hay, no se queden con el puntaje más bajo. Siempre try again, try again. Ok. Uh, the more you practice, the better. At the end, entre más practica, mejor. Ok, entonces, Clara García, me gustaría saber cuál es el inconveniente de las últimas dos. Sí, o si puede tratar con las formas completas también. No contractions. Use puntitos, use capital letters y luego, bueno, cuenta. Yo me mando una captura al WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then, no sé si ya el baby logró ingresar alguna. Dos. My name, my name is Armando. Sí, 
Dodis que ya pudo. Ok, muy bien. Entonces, en Ana Hueso ya pudo. Los demás están Pero, muy bien. Uh -huh. Poniéndole puntito. Le agarra con a puntito. Mí, a mí okay. me agarra con punto al final. Vaya, bueno, está bien, sí hay que poner. Es que el puntito siempre tendría que ir porque es finalización de una oración. Ok, well, it's good, it's good. ¿Alguien más, guys? Me alegra que vayan adelantado porque uno es el sí, finaliza. Están finalizando ya el, el session one, ¿verdad? Así que that's really good. Los que no han llegado ahí, pues aún ahí tienen el reto. Hasta ponerse la a, pila. A, a mí no me agarra la respuesta de ninguna ni de otra forma. Ah, puede, puede, puede compartir. A ver. Esto es ¿Sí se ve? Sí, ahí primero en la primera Le falta Después de no va una coma Y después va una mayúscula Ya le había puesto la coma Y había dejado con ya había dejado con mayúscula también Y nada, por eso las cambié Tratemos, quiero ver No, coma no dejen dos espacios, solo es un espacio después del no. United sí, States. quiero ver. Ay. Pero, ¿Qué a veces funciona? Ah, es que tenía el doble espacio. Uh -huh. Ah, pues tratemos ahí de quitar el, mm, sí, sí. los espacios y pues ojalá que así vaya funcionando. Pero, quiero ver. Ah, sí, ahí está. Ve. Pero qué, qué raro porque ya les había puesto con la coma y así no me los agarró. Quizás el espacio era este, muy probable. A lo mejor, pero quiero ver. Oh, está siempre medio problema. Veamos ahí el final, ¿cómo está? Quizás porque la puse muy larga o no era así la respuesta. No, it's not my, it's not my English class. Sí, dos veces ah, que tiene. Sí, 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 sí. Sí, ahí yo ya, ya me enchivolé todo. Bueno, pero ya sé, ya sé cómo para que me las agarre, porque si no, no me la agarraba de ninguna forma. Uh -huh. Bueno, ok, thank you, Ben. Ese uh. tipo de, de, de interrogantes, guys, es necesario que las traigan para discutirlas, y pues creo que para no ser frustrado, porque yo recuerdo que hice un tiempo un, un diplomado así en línea, y pues es frustrating that when, when it doesn't work, right? Ok, well, thank you so much, guys, for sharing. If you have any additional question, please let me know, maybe via chat, or maybe tomorrow, and we can talk about it. We have five minutes, maybe some volunteers to share the practice you had. Volunteers? Anybody who would like to share the conversation you improvised or you practiced? Mm -hmm. No, no volunteers. So shall I choose a big thing? Let's see. If you haven't turned on your camera, let me make that test. Let's see, Belki. Belki, you here with us? Lara Garcia? Brian? Hello, Brian. Hello. Brian, Hi. you're there. Okay, Brian, share with us. Share your practice with your group. Who did you practice with? Hello. We don't have much time, Brian. Hello, can you share? ¿Con quién me dijo que iba a practicar? Mm, don't know. <laughs> I, I made the groups. Did you have the time to practice with anybody or not? Did you make the groups? Remember, I gave you some time, right? I gave you some time um, yeah. for you to practice. Did you practice? Yeah. 
Yes, no. we, okay. yes, we practice. Oh, you practice with Brian Emerson, okay. No, 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 no. I'm, I practice with uh, Miguel, I, I think. Okay, Emerson, please do us the honor. Just close this session by showing your conversation with your, with your partner. Okay, well, Miguel, I need to Miguel to okay. practice, okay? Okay. Okay, well, mm. hi, Miguel, How to, how's it going? I'm fine, what about you? Uh, everything is good. And tell me, uh, how was your classes? Oh, okay, um, I have a class interesting uh, with my partners. They are uh, very clear. Um, I am uh, teach English. Um, what about you about your class? Uh, can you tell me something? But uh, up to now, uh, everything is, is good because I'm learning a lot. Uh, the most important things that I like about this class is that we can practice uh, with different topics. Uh, I think it's interesting. I like it. Okay. So, what? Uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> hey, nice to meet you too. Okay. Bye. Good. Thank oh, you so much. Okay. That's the attitude. All right. Thank you, Emerson. Thank you, Miguel, for your uh, practice, for showing your conversation, for sharing with the, with the class. Tomorrow, we're going to start with this. If you haven't practiced, if you haven't shared anything, you might be chosen tomorrow. So please get ready for that. And um, yesterday, I said to you that you were going to say something about yourself, if you remember, right? So we haven't, we didn't have the time for today, but tomorrow, yes, we will do it. So teacher, almost... teacher, sorry, uh -huh. sorry, a question. Uh, I can uh, ingress um, in the platform. You can, you can access, no. You have problem, um, tiene problema para accesar a la plataforma. Sí, este, no pude, bueno, yo ingresé todo, bueno, lo que ahí solo es, como le explico. Quizá lo que voy a hacer es que le voy a mandar una captura de pantalla porque no me deja ingresar, no, no pude ingresar. Bueno, no pude, yo, yo creo que lo que pasa es de que no han activado la cuenta, porque a mí me pasó que en las instrucciones decía que pusiera el correo que les di y una contraseña genérica que ya aparecía, ¿verdad? que eran unos números, este, pero cuando intenté ingresar me dio error y de repente me cayó un correo diciéndome que me hacía falta como activar la plataforma o algo así, entonces, eh, bueno, ahí solo dice no. activar, le, le di activar y ya me puso para que volviera a poner el, el correo y la contraseña, los puse otra vez y ya me dio acceso, no sé si ese será el problema. El problema mío es de que yo cuando ingresaba, ahí dice de que hay que ingresar con el correo que ingresamos, ¿verdad? Ajá. Eh, cuando yo ingreso el correo, luego me pide la contraseña. Eh, ingreso la contraseña, por supuesto tiene que ser mi contraseña, creo yo. No, no? no, tiene que ser una contraseña genérica, ahí estaba en las instrucciones. Vaya, en este caso... La contraseña lo intenté, es de... ¿verdad? La contraseña es 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ajá, correcto. Pero luego lo que me decía era de que estaba, estaba bloqueado, estaba bloqueada mi, mi eh, ah. estaba bloqueado mi, ¿cómo se dice? Eh, mi Suave. correo electrónico. O sea, sí, pero, pero o sea, algo así fue el mensaje que a mí me, me, me apareció también, que fue que de repente me cayó el correo diciéndome que tenía que activar la plataforma. Debería revisar, tal vez el correo le llegó a los correos no deseados. Es posible. Ajá, sí, porque le manda una... Un, bueno, bueno, sí, quizás voy a, voy a revisar. Porque trate, sí, en realidad lo estuve intentando y no bueno, pude, la verdad. Gustavo, hagamos lo siguiente. Trate de 24 horas, por si se le ha bloqueado. Trate de nuevo, si no nos manda la información. Yo lo voy a reportar con soporte técnico para ver cómo le pueden ayudar, porque hay un grupo para eso, así que no hay problema. Ajá, mañana trate en la tarde y vea si le da accesar y si no, pues lo reportamos. Ahí me escribe el WhatsApp, mi número, ahí tiene mi nombre también escrito, y lo buscan. 
Eh, si no, ahí se los mando ahorita el grupo aquí. Para no, mejor no me los mando. <risa> Quiero ver si lo voy a traer el grupo. Si no me han este... sacado. Uh, esto, esto, esto lo quería enseñar, güey. Este, este correo, no sé si le cayó, porque con este correo ya me dio acceso a mí. No, ese no me llegó. Vaya, búsquelo, porque por ahí puede estar. Aparece como no reply arroba edunex.co. Busque ese correo y así le sale esto que dice activate your account. Le da allí y ya le deja poner el correo y la contraseña y ya le deja meterse. Eso fue lo que me pasó a mí. Perfecto. Vamos a intentar. Intente, si no, ahí estamos a la gracias. orden, ¿ok? Bueno. Gracias. gracias, guys. Gracias por conectarse, guys. See you tomorrow. Try to rest. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.